No, Calleros has nine losses, but only three were by knockout. Three of them were by split decision, so there were close fights, and then three by decision. So he is he is a, a veteran there, very experienced, Calleros. Martinez in the white trunks, Calleros in the green. Calleros had a fight in September that fell through. He said, I, I kept training, I feel very good physically. I've got more experience, I'm staying positive. I'm going for the win. And again, he did come in at 117.4 pounds, five and a half pounds over the weight. I would love to see Martinez dig down to the body and, and check check him and see if, if that weight, that extra weight, is going to actually uh, uh, be a disadvantage. Oh, a nice left hand, and he caught him early. He caught him early. Calleros, did he touch the canvas? Yes, he did. What a start for El Rey. No warm-up needed for Martinez and Calleros in a world of trouble a minute into this championship bout. Martinez should jump on him right now. Calleros got hit early, got hurt early. Let's see what kind of closer Martinez is. He knows it's a 12-round fight. How aggressive will he be here? When you get caught that early, the cobwebs aren't out that much. So oh, a straight right affected him as well. Martinez should jump on him right now. Don't let him revive. Don't let him get his legs under him again. Martinez bouncing around on his toes, trying to be patient, but at the same time, trying to get Cairos out of there. Every punch Martinez has landed has affected Cairos. And there he switched southpaw. We're going to see a lot of that from Martinez. He switches orthodox to lefty, and he does it real subtle. You don't even know when he's doing it. He does it with his feet, not his upper body. A dream start thus far, and he caught him again with a big left hook. Everything is coming out roses here for Martinez. And this is where that extra weight actually is a detriment. That's all I was telling you. Uh, it's not always an advantage when you're overweight. Galleros is real jittery every time he gets hit cleanly by Martinez. Martinez swinging for the fence with that left hook. And this has been a nightmare for El Taz. Good body shot right there by Martinez. He just wants to survive this first round and collect himself. Let's see if Martinez puts his foot on the... Oh, a big leaping left hook. And back to the ropes goes Cairos again. Every shot was hard right there, and he didn't fall off balance. Martinez with excellent balance right there in that combination. Right there, you've seen him turn southpaw. Got him again. Does he have one final flurry in before the end of the first round? That will do it, but what a start for Julio Cesar Martinez. Wow. If you're Calleros, you want to get your legs under you and, and, and move. Don't stay stationary. Fight behind the jab. Oh, the big left hook. You can see the sweat shoot off the head of Calleros. What heavy punching power from this 112-pounder. He's just moving him all over the ring. And the punch selection that Martinez has, it comes from every angle, from left uppercuts to right, left hooks, right hooks, and then he gets an angle on top of that. Martinez is making Cairos look like an amateur. Big body shot. And this is a man in Martinez who has his sights set on a future showdown with perhaps Estrada or Chuck Latito. He wants those big names, and at the age of 25, he may get them sooner than later if he can continue this type of performance. Cairos, right when you think he might be trying to settle into this fight, Martinez lets a flurry go and catches him just like that. And there's that same combination, the left hook, straight right hand. No jabs for Martinez, everything blazing. See how subtle Martinez turns into a, a left-handed fighter? You don't even see it. Right there, he goes back to orthodox. Everything switches real, real fast with his feet. So the extra weight for Cairos has not done anything for him in this fight from a positive perspective. Perhaps it's even hindered him.
And there he goes, Martinez explosive with that combination and real subtly switches to Southpaw. Martinez defeated Christopher Rosales last December, winning the WBC flyweight title. Came back two months later for his first title defense against Jay Harris. And this is his second title defense, and it has been fantastic from the opening bell. And there's some power jabs from Martinez. We haven't seen many jabs from him, but when he lands them, he jolts the head back of Calleros. Look, power jabs. Oh, and every time Calleros throws a punch, he's left open, and Martinez is going to finish the show right here. And that's it. What a performance by Julio Cesar Martinez.